But subhanAllah, when I left Kuwait, I cried. My heart was broken. And subhanAllah, Allah wanted me to come back. And I'm not planning to leave soon. <laughs> really, I feel it's my adoptive country. Alhamdulillah. And I find Kuwait is so nice, so lively, so mashallah. And they received me well. And I want to thank them for that. Alhamdulillah. Because um, I was lucky. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Do you see Islam is easier to be practiced in Kuwait rather than other countries? Definitely. I miss that, you know. Being in a non-Muslim country, not hearing the Adhan, when you pray, it's not the same thing. Because mm. everything around you is, is strange and... Not supportive. Maybe. Yes, it's not supportive. You don't feel comfortable. That's why I had to come back here. Mashallah. A message that you, 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 you send to uh, our Kuwaiti audience, to Kuwait? Yes, uh, I want to wish all of them good health, um, patience in everything they are doing, and uh, of course, Ramadan Kareem. <laughs> Ramadan Kareem. And as they say, Allahu Akram, thank you very Allah much Akram. for thank your you time, so much, for joining us tonight. Uh, dear viewers, uh, that was our sister, Simona Agnat and uh, from Romania and this is her journey to Islam. Thank you for joining tonight and thank you for your patience. <laughs> بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سلم بيا ورسولا رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا